So what's up everybody? I wanted to go ahead and make this video of the new Norwegian Joy uh, spa area. Um, I noticed there wasn't a whole lot of video out there. Um, this was my first time doing something like this and I felt kind of bad because even that young lady wasn't too sure if she should be in the video and I'm not sure if she was supposed to be, but it is what it is. Uh, this area is showing the men's locker room. You can see that there's towels, small area to get ready. Two showers, um, one that has a, a pretty large shower that occasionally is nice to go into, as well as this new lock system. You don't need a key. You literally just go in, put your stuff in, put the combination, uh, and then, of course, you have your uh, table setting. Now, to get into the spa, you do need to have a scan card. Uh, that is when you buy the package. You're going to go up to the front desk. Uh, they're going to go ahead and take that from you, give you the new card, which is awesome. This spa came out really, really well. As you can see, it's like you're walking into a major hotel lobby, but it's just beautiful. Um, in this area, they've got their teas, uh, coffee, water. Uh, the water is infused with oranges. I was a little bummed that they didn't have just a standard one because essentially you're drinking sugar water. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, moving to this front area, you're going to notice how there are these chairs. These are all heated. Um, you cannot change the temperature of these chairs. Uh, they are a little warm at first. So, I mean, you might want to be careful about just like sitting on them bare skinned. Uh, most of the time we wore the robes which were provided. Uh, and or just laid towels down uh, the four chairs back there those are chairs that I believe um, work with sound they're called sound baths so you lay in those and it plays a certain sound of music um, or noise uh, you also have these beds uh, very very comfortable um, Everybody made sure to, you know, put towels down before laying on them just not to get wet. So, so that was nice. This cruise was a little disappointing. The spa was closed the entire time. They were having issues with the pH levels as well as the cold plunge, which I'm about to show you. But this area is your steam rooms, your showers, your ice room, which was super cool. Uh, that drops down to a certain temperature. Ice is always flowing out of the machine, as you can see right here. Uh, so I thought that was uh, super cool how they were able to do that. Uh, but just a nice environment, especially after a long day, to just like go sit and cool down. Um, the cold plunge was open one of the last two days of the ship. I did do it. It was pretty insane. You know, you get in and the, the wind just gets knocked out of you. You step down and then it's literally a plunge type situation. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, moving right along, those are rainforest showers. There's different buttons on each shower that provide you rapid or random uh, different temperatures of water that all of a sudden hit you. You've got your sauna. There were people inside. That's why I didn't videotape them uh, fully. Uh, this is a steam room we're about to walk up on with a eucalyptus ball in the middle. Uh, I'm surprised my phone didn't get all foggy, but that was pretty cool that you walk in there and always have that smell of eucalyptus. Uh, over here you have your salt room, which is going to be way less of a you know high temperature or anything like that. It's it's pretty comfortable. Uh, I actually don't know if the temperature adjusts at all. Um, this is a stone walking path for your feet. This is another area that just kind of shows you. This is a shower that hits you from both sides. Um, once again, one minute it could be super cold, then be warm, then be super hot, then be back to cold. Just really meant to kind of